Hi right, guys, Tin Man again. We were talking on the forum, or rather I was, about charging a battery with a negative charge rather than a positive charge. As you know, conventional current flow says your standard SSG is charging a battery with a positive voltage spike from the collapsing of the coil in what they call true current flow everything is back to front so just to show you that it can work either way I've completely reversed the SSG system first thing I will say to the guys on the forum that are waiting on the results of my core material I've been working with this coil actually has that core material in it it's the first test and I must say it is working very nice so that looks like we might be on a winner for the toroid coils for the LAG so anyway back to this as you can see the negative side of our run battery I'm just using these little 12 volt rechargeable ones out of the drill batteries that you would know about which are these 4 volt cells 3 in series is just 12 volts so our negative is going to the start of our run coil you can see that I've got the negative of my multimeter to read our volts going in the right side and of course the positive is on this side which is the positive of our battery and it's reading the correct way around so we're coming off the positive lead going through our multimeter which is set on amp scale so we're drawing 147 milliamps so we come out of that as you can see and go straight into our emitter the transistors I'm using are the MJ2955 so these ones they are the 2N3055 PNP complement transistors and you'll see also here the diode on the collector is around the other way and of course we're coming off of that and going into the negative side of our charged battery same deal you can see that I've got my multimeter hooked up correct way around it is reading the correct bolts so it's not back to front so we are indeed sending the charge back to the negative side of our charged battery and that voltage is climbing quite nice in fact it seems to climb faster than your standard circuit as we know um, conventional current flow is from positive to negative the true current flow is from negative to positive so this is working quite nicely we're drawing 150 milliamps at our 12.6, 12.5 volts we're pumping in 101 milliamps at 8.45 at the moment so at the moment it's about a 50% conversion rate this pot is turned right up in other words it's got the full 1k resistance plus our 100 ohm resistor and this thing is still singing along so I'd say this core material is very good indeed for these types of systems. Um, uh, probably up to a 500 ohm resistor across there would do us nicely. Of course our neon still from emitter to the collector. Um, and if we disconnect our charge battery, it indeed comes on very strongly with that pot turned right down so that's just what I wanted to show you guys that is a battery being charged with what you call a negative charge but what I call the correct way around and as you can see it is definitely charging very nicely so now we can look at something else and this will be the next circuit I'm going to try as our 
mastermind friend said, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the action coming from the coil on a normal SSG circuit, when it collapses, is a high voltage spike being sent to a charged battery. As you can see, there's an equal reaction going the opposite direction. So I'm going to try and make a circuit with a PMP transistor and an NPN transistor with a coil hooked one side each. So when the coil collapses, we can send this charge we're getting now back to one battery and we can send the positive conventional current flow positive charge back to another charge battery and if indeed both of those actions and reactions are the same we should be able to get around 99 to 100 milliamps in each battery with only drawing the same amount of milliamps we are at the moment so that will be my next circuit I'm going to try and I should have that done by tomorrow and I'll post the results for all you to see. Okay, cheers from the team then.